Okay, so you get super casual, Linda, right now, uh, fresh from the shower, hence the wet hair. <clears throat> and it's cold, bundled up, but I'm trying to knock enough of these out quick enough. So there you go. The next one should be a little more professional looking. But, you know, since the topic I'm about to talk about is something you're going to be doing constantly, casual kind of works. So this is to talk about the nutrition diary that you're going to be keeping up with through the entire term. <laughs> so without further ado, let's do that share screen thing. Um, ba -ba, here you go. So you can read it just as well as I can. This is posted on Moodle for you to look back at. I will be re-upping it and giving you more details as things go, but for the first week, it's super duper duper simple, and I am hoping that you are actually watching this on the very first day of class because that is the intention. If we were all in person, like me as well, this is literally what I would have been covering the first day. The first day would be the syllabus, intro, how the course is going to be run, then the nutrition diary, and then I would start with chapter one. That's the plan. I'm hoping you can kind of stick to that. But nutrition diary, the whole purpose of learning about nutrition is to see how it actually affects your overall health. It's not just, I feel like eating this and I feel like eating that. It's not just the doctor saying, hey, your cholesterol is high and you're likely to have a heart attack and die at an early age. It's not just, hey, you're pre-diabetic. You need to cut out those sugars. It is a lot more than that. It is that, but more. Um, I am obsessed with nutrition stuff. I have been a very unhealthy person and I will be going more into that as we move on in the course. Uh, if you've had me before, I've already talked a lot about it. But for this one, I'm gonna talk about this. One of the more recent classes I took after completing the master's for nutritional science, because I had this weird need to learn. And so I took a mental health and nutrition course, and I'm kind of wanting to blend that into this course because it does actually match. In order to do this, you're going to have to keep a nutritional diary. We want to know what you're eating. You can't figure out how things are without being honest with yourself. So for this first week, if you look here, it says that I don't want you to make any changes. Do not sit there and lie about it and adjust it to try to show how healthy you are. We want honesty. So just eat like normal and just document it. You can put it in a Word document. You can have an app on the phone. You can journal it. You can have your own little notebook. I don't care. However you want to do it, it's just something that you will be able to show me so I can see that you're doing this. No one else has to see it. And I am not going to judge you on your choices. The first week, I want you to document absolutely everything, everything you eat and drink. Yeah, that includes water, by the way. I want to know when you're eating, what you're eating, how much you're eating, what you're drinking, when you're drinking, how much you're drinking, that kind of thing. I don't want you to change any of it just because you're keeping track of it. This is what we're going to count as your baseline, because pretty much what we're going to do is a scientific experiment on ourselves. The best way to know if something changes, um, nutritional-wise, physically, mentally, emotionally, is to try it on ourselves. And we're not doing anything dangerous, and so we're good. But if you haven't done it, you can't suggest it to someone else. Kind of like if you've ever known a doctor who smokes and then tells you you shouldn't smoke. You're like, dude, what a hypocrite. Can't do that. Um, <clears throat> I pretty much abhor hypocrites. So we have to see how it works. So while you are collecting all this information, every night, I want you to jot down how you were feeling. So like if one day you felt more anxious, then another day, jot it down. If one day you were like really horrible, like down or whatever, partway through the day, like at three o'clock in the afternoon, you're like, oh my gosh, I was exhausted. I was just so tired and I was mentally taxed. Write it down. 
you want this throughout the day because what we will do moving forward is change some stuff up. So week one, writing down every day what you ate, when, how much, if it's possible. Do not worry about the nutritional aspect. We'll work with that together later. But I want you to be honest. You're basically journaling everything that you're consuming and how you feel, physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. Week two, I am going to give you a list of choices where you change one thing, only one thing. And then you're going to do it again. See if you notice a difference. Then there's going to be spring break. Spring break, you're just going to keep documenting what you're doing. And this is a really good thing because a lot of people when they're on vacation figure, you know, oh, well, I'm on vacation. I can now do X, Y, Z. I'm not saying don't do that. I just want you to document it. I want to see if you can spot a change. Week three, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, but we're going to recap what happened over spring break. We're going to look over your stuff and then discuss how to move forward. So I know there was no real reason for me to have that document up there, but it puts me in a little corner in the top. And so it's a little less overwhelming, but that's pretty much the nutrition diary. We are, again, going to be tracking everything you consume and how you feel. Again, physically, mentally, emotionally. If you're sad one day, jot it down. If you're super happy one day, jot it down. If you have a whole bunch of energy and then no energy, jot it down. We want to see how your diet affects your overall existence. And um, for those of you with kids, feel free to try and track that too if you want to. Is it extra credit? No. Are you required to? No. Um, I only say it because some of you, and yes, there is a very specific someone I'm talking to right now who probably would want to do this, might be interesting. Um, but yeah, we're going to cover so many different things throughout this term. I want you to be able to track it as we go so you can see whether or not it makes a change. Might not. You might have the absolute perfect nutritional profile right now walking in the door. Chances are, maybe not, but we're going to talk about it all. So make sure to keep up with this nutritional diary. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So peace.